so uh, today now we will do the faraday effect experiment also known as what it's constant so this is our whole apparatus and uh, this is our uh, optical bench here uh, we have two two colors laser diode this is red laser, red laser diode as you can see from the wavelength and it is connected here this is main laser and here we have a green laser diode here you can see its wavelength this is green colored okay this is the laser and here we have uh, output output detector which detects the output in this photo photo detector in units of current this is constant current power supply this is analyzer and this is polarizer here in this uh, this is uh, electromagnet and in this we have a glass tube uh, glass tube, tube of length 10 centimeter and this whole solenoid is 15 centimeter so uh, we have to turn on the circuit so so first of all we have to make sure that the laser falls on this uh, in this photo detector in the hole of this photo detector so let's adjust it so as you can see we have adjusted the laser so in order to adjust you can we, we, here we have this screw this screw and here one more screw so these screws are for adjusting the laser mount and uh, here for adjusting the photo detector we have this screw for vertical movement and this screw is for height height movement so here we have to first of all uh, we have to without anything without polarizer analyzer we have to set the maximum output current then we have to put the polarizer one important thing is like when there is no polarizer analyzer the maximum current it is gaining like it is about 8 milli, milli ampere so 8.2 and this is in milli ampere yes okay so now we will uh, put the polarizer now we we'll rotate the polarizer subject it will show the maximum intensity so this this is for adjusting so it should be around 6 milliamperes So as you can see after inserting the polarizer the output is around 6.3 milliamperes. Now we will put this analyzer and make sure that this face is face towards the electromagnet. There are two scales given on this uh, analyzer one on the right side and one on the left side. We have to take only one, one scale on the reference for the reference. So here as you can see the least count in uh, for the angle is 0 0.1 degrees so here uh, suppose that uh, here uh, 127 one reading is exactly matching with 0 0 that division and then we have to we have to see that which one division exactly matches with the either if we are moving it clockwise then we have to see it uh, this right if we are anti-clockwise then we have to see left scale so in this case it is exactly around 127 or 127.1 it is 127.1 i think okay now let's insert it here Now let's turn on the constant current power supply and make sure it is in zero position. This is knob here to adjust it. This knob is for adjusting the current. 
so uh, let's adjust it adjust it in this way to see the minimum current first we have to make minima in milliamperes then we have to set it in microamperes we have to set minima it should be almost nearly zero see as you can see minima is around 0 0.0, 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 this is the minimum condition now uh, we have to uh, first we have to note the angle at which we are getting the zero degree zero uh, current so we will see here mm, it 81 80 86 point and uh, 3 this is point 3 86 point 3 as you can see this 86 point 3 so for zero current we have 86 point 3 degree and this will be the referring uh, angle from from that from this angle we will measure all that angles okay so let's increase it to 0 0.4 And now so we have to we now increase the uh, current inside this electromagnet the current on these uh, four detector increases now we have to adjust this analyzer such that this current becomes uh, again a minimum again it should be minimum that is it was like 0 0.4 so again for fine adjustment we have to use these two screws so as you can see yes now it's 0 0.4 now we have to see how much angle it has moved so it is 86 no uh, earlier it was 86.3 and now it is uh, 85 point so here as you can see it is 85.9 so it has moved one degree approx yes we will convert into minutes and uh, then again we have to increase it to 0.8 as you can see again the current has increased so again we will minimize it using this and make sure only in one direction we have to rotate it throughout the experiment either you can move through using this or using this this is for harsh adjustment this is for fine adjustment yes, now it is almost 0 0.4 now again we will see the angle So it is 84 kilns mean the 85 exactly 85 hmm. so it is exactly 85 okay so similarly we will take the readings in the with a difference of 0.4 so like 0 0.4 0 0.8 1.2 <laughs> and we'll go up to 4 4 current 4 ampere current okay similar similarly we have to do for uh, green green laser green diode laser